The stock's just surging today, as we've been talking about. We have the strong jobs market that was reported to us uh, this morning in the job openings report, booming corporate profits as well. Our next guest says... Not so fast on all this. His latest warning was that another recession is looming. The Harvard economics professor, Marty Feldstein, kind enough to join us in the studio today. Good to see you, sir. Thank Good you for coming with you. in. You've been um, talking about this idea, and I went back and watched because I was on Maria Bartiromo's panel with you back in January about the stock market falling because of rising interest rates, and that will hurt the economy. Is that what we started to see last week? It's interesting, by the way, to talk to you on a day like this when the market's up as yeah, much well, as it is. Yeah, well, the market is very strong. Yeah. Um, but I think interest rates, while, you know, the 10-year Treasury has doubled in the last two years, doubled. But it's still only at a little over 3%. In real terms, it's not much more than zero. Mm -hmm. But I think it could go to a real number like 2%, which would mean it would be up to 5%. Right. And at that point, I think it would be a real challenge. That would to hurt the, the stock, stock market, market and in turn then bring the economy down or bring the economy possibly into recession, is your exactly. point. So, he, um, is the Fed doing the right thing? Let me ask you a brief question about that, and you'll understand why in a second by raising interest rates as aggressively as it appears to be, or as the president thinks that it is. Well, they should have started earlier. Okay. I think the real problem is that the interest rates are still so low, the Fed funds rate is basically zero in real terms so they're doing the right thing right. they can't do it much faster but they should have started two or three years ago because president trump this was played earlier on our network it'll be played more later uh he was interviewed by trish regan today and he said the fed was the biggest threat to him because they're raising rates uh too much right now i don't think if he if what he means is the midterm elections i don't think that's right right but i think by 2020 we could see even then the Fed uh, estimates that their rate will only be the Fed funds rate will only be three and a half percent but the long rate could be up over four by then and then what does the economy look like I know it's difficult to pinpoint recessions and all that kind of thing yeah. what turns in the economy especially again today a lot of people are upbeat about um, this report we had on job openings was terrific all these yeah. things come in day after day but what does the economy look like by 2020 if you had to give your best guess well everything is positive now yeah uh, everything looking ahead is positive except if the very high interest rates cause the stock market to fall the stock market, the S&P 500 price earnings ratio is 50 percent, 5 percent higher than its historic average. If it dropped back just to the historic average, what would that do to households? It would take $10 trillion out of household wealth. Well, if you do that, mm -hmm. you knock the level of consumer spending down by one and a half, two 2 percent. To be clear, we have to go because we spent a lot of time on the earnings at the top of the show. You're making a prediction or you're saying that that's a worry of yours? Uh, I'm saying that if interest rates rise that much, yeah. I think we could see that kind of a fall in the yeah. stock market and therefore in the economy. Hmm. All right. Well, we saw part of that last week. And um, as we say at the end of an interview like this, let's hope you're wrong. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs>